Okay, over here. So this will be our second question. What's uh, my What's name your is name? Peter. Peter. Good name. Yes, and uh, you, you cited a Muslim scholar. I think his name was um, uh, Murad Hoffman. Murad Hoffman, yes. And he made the statement that uh, God's self-sufficiency excludes his love. Yes. Now, I believe both those things about God. What's wrong with his reasoning? That's a great question. Yes, it's, it's funny. I agree with you, Peter, that I look at that and I go, well, I believe that God God doesn't need anything. In fact, um, you know, one of my one of my friends on the RZAM speaking team describes that you know shortly after her children were born, somebody gave her a little sort of kids book about 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 God, and it and, it, and the story went like this: Once upon a time, there was a God who made the world, and it was this beautiful creation, um, but that God was lonely. And so he made human beings. She's like, I got to that page, I literally flung the book out the window. <laughs> That's not the, the God of the Bible. He doesn't lack anything. It's more out of God's overflowing generosity uh, that he's created and he loves us. Here though, I think is where Murad Hoffman's really gone wrong. The more I've thought about this, to go that the big difference, or one of the big differences between the God of the Bible and the God of the Quran is of course the God of the Bible is a, is a God who is Trinity. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Which means before God made anything, before God made anything at all, any atom, any particle, any planet, any person, God was a God of love because the Father loved the Son, the Son loved the Spirit. There was this communion of persons there in the Godhead. So God could be a God of love without needing anything. Well, step over here to Islam. And Islam, the Quran rejects the Trinity. Muslims have problems with the Trinity. The Quran teaches that God is utterly, utterly indivisibly one. Well, of course, you construct a God like that and there's no room for love. Because for that God to love something, you would first have to create something and he would lack. So what I would say if Murad were here, I would say what you're missing, what you're missing is the revelation of God as Father, Son and Spirit. 